สวัสดีครับ and good afternoon once again today is Monday the 15th of February 2021 and welcome back from the long uh, weekend long holiday that we had uh, for three days just now I hope you had a very uh, enjoyable uh, Chinese uh, New Year and uh, Valentine's Day a long a long weekend of course uh, we came out with all the measures for you to enjoy uh, the long holiday in terms of uh, New normal, new normal practice, and taking care of each other's uh, health. So hope that that was practiced. So first of all, thank you very much to Dr. Bird, Dr. a p i s a m a i for the uh, Thai language uh, edition of the summary that we had uh, just now. So today I have some information regarding the uh, new, uh, the case regarding the new uh, South African uh, variant, as well as the measures that we have put in place to prevent. Uh, the spread of of that of that uh, particular uh, variant, uh, but first of all, uh, one important point that uh, was mentioned in the Thai language uh, briefing just now was regarding the issue of stigmatization. Of course, uh, we've been having certain reports and news about uh, certain marketplaces, certain provinces like s u t s a k o n Uh, including certain uh, people of certain uh, nationalities uh, in Thailand who have been at uh, high risk, uh, as well as those coming from abroad as well. So it's very important that we have been stressing all along that stigmatization is something that we have to be very careful of. We should not stigmatize or discriminate, because COVID does not discriminate. COVID does not choose between uh, who you are, what nationality you are, what. Profession you are so, therefore, it would be kind of uh, senseless if you see a market vendor, for example, and learn that he or she had been uh, a market vendor in a particular province or someone from a particular nationality, uh, and you uh, act as if uh, that person is already uh, COVID positive, which might not be the case. And a reminder that COVID is curable; it's cu- curable because of the Uh, medical uh, system and the treatment uh, protocol that we have, the quarantine protocol that we have. So, therefore, we would like to avoid that sense of stigmatization and discrimination in Thailand all altogether. So, moving on first to the general situation and the number of cases that we have for today. We have recorded for today 143 new confirmed cases. As you can see on screen in the left-hand uh, blue box, out of 143, we have 68 cases which are from active case finding, and 11 cases of that number from traveling from abroad and who have been placed directly into the state quarantine system. 143 confirmed cases reported for today, but new recoveries far exceeds that. We have 772 new recoveries recorded for today. So, as you can see, the numbers are getting better, quite more manageable. Uh, that is because of the active case finding uh, acceleration uh, weeks that we have had in the past weeks, and then we've uh, scaled it down a bit uh, currently. But still, of course, we've been able to identify most of the active. Most of the positive cases in particular areas through active case finding, which is very very good news. So more recoveries now than the new confirmed cases. Uh, total cumulative since last year over 24,000, and total recoveries and discharged cases since last year 22,000. You see now that the numbers are closing up, are starting to meet, which is very good news. Active cases. Cases still being under treatment in hospital is now only 1,749. I say only because in the past weeks or days it was as high as, if you recall, five, six, or seven thousand. It was it was quite quite high. The gap was higher, so now the gap is closing in, which is very good news. But unfortunately, we have news which is not so good. Some bad news as well, because we have two new fatalities recorded for today in Thailand. Making the cumulative number of fatalities from COVID in Thailand today standing at 82. The two new cases of fatality are as follows. First is a 62-year-old Thai male, Thai national from Ubon Ratchathani province with diabetes and chronic kidney disease as the underlying uh, illnesses. 
And the second fatality is a 78-year-old Thai national, male also, from Samut Sakhon province, with underlying uh, sickness, illnesses of asthma and high blood pressure. So before going to the South African variant, I'd like to touch on the new cluster in Patum Thani, which Dr. Bird, Dr. Apisama had mentioned just now. The CCSA and the Ministry of Public Health is now focusing on Patum Thani province as a new cluster of cases that have been found in fresh markets, uh, open air, fresh markets. And the Ministry of Public Health has found over 200 infected persons in Patum Thani not in one day, in one duration, who are related to fresh markets or have worked, uh, visited uh, fresh markets in, the, in that particular province, which prompted the provincial administration to order the temporary closure of related markets. And more testing is now provided to vendors and customers of that market. From the examination from the health ministry, it was noticed that the markets have uh, low ceiling. The ceilings of the markets was quite, was quite low, so therefore inadequate uh, ventilation system, which helped in spreading the virus and caused some vendors not to wear face masks at time due to discomfort because of the heat, well, because of the low ceiling and the structure of, of, of the market uh, building. And as you recall, uh, some uh, days ago I had mentioned about one of the precautions is to have uh, ample uh, ventilation uh, space uh, and not to be in a, uh, an area which is of closed uh, ventilation for over 15 minutes. That would s sort of serve as a, be a risk uh, for uh, the spread of, of COVID. So the public health ministry had advised all the fresh market vendors and customers to strictly practice and uh, disease control measures. Uh, anyone who had recently had close contact with market vendors in Patum Thani province uh, is, advised, is advised to seek medical uh, attention or call 1422. This is the hotline if they are concerned that they have been infected. Now moving on to the South uh, African uh, variant, we have to, we address this because it's a new variant that is uh, found uh, in Africa and in spreading in uh, countries in Europe, uh, Australia and the, United, and the United States as well. There is this news on this variant uh, in Thailand. So just to confirm that right now, there is only one uh, confirmed case of this new variant in Thailand uh, who is a Thai returnee from Tanzania. So a Thai person who had uh, been uh, visiting uh, Tanzania and returned to Thailand. Uh, this particular person uh, arrived in Thailand on the 29th of January 2021 and had been tested positive in early uh, February. You have an infographic there on screen for you. Just a bit more detail on this case. This uh, Thai national is uh, 41 year old, is a gems trader and had visited a gathering or a party, so to speak, uh, in, while, he, while he was visiting uh, Africa. And the participants of that gathering or party uh, were not wearing uh, masks. Now this particular person also traveled in, his, in the course of his journey, traveled from Thailand through uh, Ethiopia, the country of Ethiopia, before going to Tanzania. Now on the uh, 3rd of February, uh, it was tested, he was tested positive and in due course he was taken to the emergency infectious diseases unit or EID unit of the Thai Red Cross. So we'd like to reassure that this patient was staying in a state quarantine uh, when he returned to Thailand and is currently being treated. There was no contact between the patient and any member of the public. All medical staff at the hospital and the quarantine facility have also been tested and the results have returned all negative. The disease control department is closely monitoring the situation of the new variants found in other countries and would take precautionary measures by conducting genetic analysis of the virus found in patients arrived from countries with report of new variant infection. If you recall, uh, there are a number of uh, variants uh, uh, popping up around the world and stricter screening process for passengers from these countries had already been made in the case of for Thailand. 
the persons who are tested positive with the new variant will also be required to remain in quarantine for more than 14 days, so for 21 days. So these are the measures and precautions uh, that we uh, are preparing uh, for this particular new variant. Another piece of information is about the, just to update about the migrant workers registration because we had talked about this a few weeks ago and the deadline had already uh, closed. The Labor Ministry reported that more than 650,000 migrant workers have registered with the Labor Ministry's Employment Department to obtain legal work permits. And the online registration opened from the 15th of January to the 13th of February to allow migrant workers, uh, including those who are of illegal status, to remain legally in the country if they complete the process. The number of registered migrants exceeded the expectation of the Labor Ministry. Actually, they, they had uh, expected only 500,000 who would follow the process. And all these registered workers are required to take the COVID test and buy health insurance uh, through their employers and to ensure that those found infected uh, will receive medical treatment and prevent further spread of the virus. They were also requested to report to immigration officials as per procedure for collection of biometrics by the 16th of April 2021. So just in summary, we have uh, saw many um, numbers and statistics on screen in the Thai uh, language edition, but in general right now, the situation seems to be getting better. Uh, first of all, globally. Globally, in many of the countries you see on top of the list have actually been having uh, lower numbers uh, in the past uh, days, uh, perhaps because of the availability of uh, vaccines in many uh, countries, the start of that uh, process. Um, as well as, of course, in Thailand, the numbers have been getting more uh, stable and lower because of the active case finding mission uh, success that we have, have had and the control measures. And, of course, with your uh, good cooperation. Uh, we hope that during the long weekend, uh, we hope that no one had sort of uh, breached or no one have had been uh, lax or uh, very unmindful and un unaware of the uh, importance of social distancing and DMHTT and hope that, of course, you will be uh, practicing all these measures uh, continuously, even though it's on a long weekend, even though it's a weekday, even though next weekend and the next month uh, ahead. And rest assured that we are doing everything in terms of the measures, in terms of the uh, public uh, relations campaign, in terms of the uh, encouragement and the uh, strict uh, enforcement and everything to ensure that uh, Thailand will not be uh, adversely affected or our numbers will not get higher despite the continuing challenges, for example, the new variants that are uh, coming up. So hopefully that will continue. We thank very, you very much for your cooperation. We had a very good uh, long weekend. Uh, our uh, recommendations, our guidance are being heard to curb the spread in Thailand. Just to express that under certain uh, circum under, certain, uh, under the current circumstances, we appreciate very much uh, your cooperation, the way you interact with your friends and family, the way you show your care and the way you show your, your love. Uh, nevertheless, keep distancing and bear in mind the, you have to reduce uh, possible risks at all times. Uh, sharing love at, at a distance would be better for you and your loved ones at this moment and for our healthier future. So thank you very much for your attention and we'll see you again tomorrow. สวัสดีครับกลับขอบพระคุณค่ะท่านนะคะ